Welcome back to Holly Scoops. Just saying. I'm Heather Gardner. Hey, what's up? Dylan from Brooklyn. It's Friday. Yeah, it is. Do, hey, if I'm going to do a white girl dance, you got to do a white girl dance. Uh, uh, oh, that, uh. Is that white girl <laughs> dance? That is a different uh, level. All right. Let's get to the news. the deal. One Direction is getting back together. Like kind of? Like kind of. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Louis <laughs> spilling the tea. Spilling the tea. On, uh, you know, potentially maybe in the future they will get back together. I feel like this is what all of them have been saying, but Louis, who has been pretty silent the last year or so, he's well, he's dealing. a daddy. He's a daddy, and he also just lost his mother, which was oh. like a really sad situation to cancer. She was young too, in her 40s. But he was, but back out in the spotlight today, and he was on the Today Show with Steve Aoki debuting mm -hmm. their new song. It's called yes. Just Hold On. They've been doing their thing. You can hear that song. You've been hearing it. It's all over. Um, do you feel like this is the right? direction for Louie to be going. I didn't even do that on purpose. I swear to God. I, I swear to God. what she did there. Yeah, Doing absolutely. a little dance music feature. I mean, I think they all are kind of branching out and doing their own thing. Obviously, Zayn has been all sexy, sexy with Taylor. Did you see that video today? Um, also, Harry has decided to go into mu uh, movies. Yes. We got Niall, who's already put out his solo too. And then um, Liam. Liam, who's about Liam, to be a daddy himself. Right. So Liam's got a brand new record deal. There's just some uh, social media videos of him and Charlie Puth hanging out together, potentially recording music on their own. And so Leo, Leo Louie <laughs> is saying that, you know, Eventually, it's a possibility they all get back together, but right now we're all kind of focusing on our own thing. They're going to say that for literally the next 20 years. I am calling it right now. 20 years from now, you and I are going to be sitting right here being like, where is One Direction? Yeah. They're just, they're teasing us, I feel like. Well, if you they're look not, at- It's not happening. If you look at Justin Timberlake, he's not really in any rush to get back with NSYNC, maybe when they're all like 50 years old. So I don't know if One Direction will follow the same path. But the question is, who's gonna be the most successful from One Direction? Well, see, that's the thing. It's like, I feel like there always is one who kind of just is right. the one. You know, Nick Lachey from 98 Degrees, he's the only relevant right. one. Justin Timberlake, I mean, Obviously. I'm sorry. I love you, Nick Carter. Is it Nick no. Carter? Aaron? Whoa. Carter, Hold the phone. <laughs> Nick Carter was in Backstreet Boys. Oh my god! I did not just mix up my 90s boy bands. I am not. You did. No. If anything, I think Zayn is the JC Shaw Zay of NSYNC. Like you come out hot, <laughs> but after a while, Harry's gonna keep it going forever. You know, I'm forever. like legit hiding in shame. I Relax, I'm girl. really embarrassed. Yes. In fact, I mean, you want to get it together, you could go see 98 Degrees and Backstreet Boys all together because they're doing their whole reunion tour thing. But we're in the millennium now, I suppose. But One that's, what it, that's what it comes to. It's like, first of all, they can't get back together too soon because it's like, hello, it's only been like a year since right. they broke up. They so gotta do their own what? Thing. They have to. And then it's going to have to be the, well, we're going to get back together eventually. It's really going to come down to whose career right. needs a little boost. The interesting thing about being 2017, there's five guys in the band. Maybe you're not the most successful one, maybe you're the least popular one, but in the age of social media, you kind of will always have a career right. for yourself. Contrary to the other boy bands from back in the day where, you know, the least popular one kind of just like went into the shadows forever. Or reality TV. Or reality <laughs> TV, which is always an option. But, you know, God willing, One Direction comes together and records a song. So we'll be keeping you posted about that. I mean, this is going to take forever, forever. But in the meantime, we do have all these new solo projects, which, which we are super excited about. Except Harry, he's the one who needs to come out and do some new music. Well, Hello. he will. He's doing Hello. his movies. He's going to be in Dunkirk, that Christopher Nolan big World War II yeah. movie. And Coming I think up. he's going to really adopt that whole, like, singer-songwriter. John Mayer-esque vibe. You know what? I'm living for that. I am yeah. ready. All right, guys. Let us know what you think. Do you think it will be too soon if One Direction got back together, like, in the nearish future? Let us know. And let us know if you're excited about Louis' brand new music. Whoa. Whoa. Exactly. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Have a Cheers. great weekend. Cheers.